So then, let me connect this with the problem of birth and death, which puzzles people enormously, of course. Because in order to understand what, what the self is, you have to remember that it doesn't need to remember anything. Just like you don't need to know how you work your thyroid gland. So then, when you die, you're not going to have to put up with everlasting non-existence because that's not an experience. A lot of people are afraid that when they die, they're going to be locked up in a dark room forever and, it, and sort of undergo that. But one of the most interesting things in the world, this is a yoga, this is a way of realization. Try and imagine what it will be like to go to sleep and never wake up. Think about that. Children think about it. It's one of the great wonders of life. What will it be like to go to sleep and never wake up? And if you think long enough about that, something will happen to you. You will find out, among other things, that uh, it will pose the next question to you. What was it like to wake up after having never gone to sleep? That was when you were born. You see, you, you can't have an experience of nothing. Nature abhors a vacuum. So after you're dead, the only thing that can happen is the same experience or the same sort of experience as when you were born. In other words, we all know very well that after people die, other people are born. And they're all you. Only you can only experience it one at a time. Everybody is I. You all know you are you. And wheresoever beings exist throughout all galaxies, it doesn't make any difference. You are all of them. And when they come into being, that's you coming into being. You know that very well. Only you don't have to remember the past in the same way you don't have to think about how you work your thyroid gland or whatever else it is in your organism. You don't have to know how to shine the sun. You just do it. Like you breathe. Isn't there, doesn't it really astonish you that you are this fantastically complex thing? And that you're doing all of this and you never had any education in how to do it? You never learned, but you're this miracle? Well, the point is that from a strictly physical, scientific standpoint, this organism is a continuous energy with everything else that's going on. And if I am my foot, I am the sun. Only we've got this little partial view, we've got the idea that no, I'm just something in this body, the ego. That's a joke. The ego is nothing other than the focus of conscious attention. It's like a radar on a ship. The radar on a ship is a troubleshooter. Is there anything in the way? And conscious attention is a designed function of the brain to scan the environment, like a radar does. And note for any troublemaking changes. But if you identify yourself with your troubleshooter, then naturally you define yourself as being in a perpetual state of anxiety. And the moment we cease to identify with the ego and become aware that we are the whole organism, you realize the, as the first thing how harmonious it all is. Because your organism is a miracle of harmony. All this thing functioning together, even those corpuscles and uh, creatures that are fighting each other in the bloodstream and eating each other up. If they weren't doing that, you wouldn't be healthy. So what is discord at one level of your being is harmony at a higher level. And you begin to realize that and you begin to be aware too that the discords of your life and the discords of people's life, which are a fight at one level, at a higher level of the universe, are healthy and harmonious. And you suddenly realize that everything that you are and do is at that level as magnificent and as free of any blemish as the patterns in waves. 
the markings in marble, the way a cat moves, and that this world is really okay and can't be anything else because otherwise it couldn't exist. But the reality underneath physical existence, or which really is physical existence, because in my philosophy there's no difference between the physical and the spiritual. These are absolutely out-of-date categories. It's all process. It isn't stuff on the one hand and form on the other. It's just, it is pattern. Life is pattern. It is a dance of energy. And so I will never invoke spooky knowledge. Uh, that is to say that I've had a private revelation or that I have sensory vibrations going on a plane which you don't have. Everything is standing right out in the open. It's just a question of how you look at it. So you do discover when you realize this, the most extraordinary thing to me that I never cease to be flabbergasted at whenever it happens to me, 